Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. All right, today I'm gonna to be ranking every song on the Utopia album from best to worst. We got S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, and K-pop as its own category because that was probably the first, like the only song that was the weakest, no, well, by far the weakest track on the album or the second weakest. And I already know I'm gonna upset like a lot of Travis fans here, but just bear with me. All right, so in S tier starting out, we have Hyena. Um, I think it was a good intro, uh, intro track to the album. And I also heard a snippet of the beat when Travis dropped the Circus Maxima YouTube video. So, and I really liked the production as well. The production of the whole album was very good, first of all. And um, yeah, it's just a very good intro song. We got it at S tier. The second song at S tier is My Eyes. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I don't really listen to the rapping or like the words that are said. And I don't really expect like excellent wordplay or rhyming from Travis Scott either, right? So I just listen for the beat and the tunes and how, how nice it sounds overall and uh yeah the second half of my eyes was very good very well done and then we have sirens i really like the beat on this song as well it was also very different and i don't know it just felt like a, an african beat for some reason to me all right so moving on to a tier we have thank god um i've forgotten like how half of these songs really go to be honest but yeah i mean i i remember listening to it and i really did enjoy it just not as much as the other songs that I just listed, but uh, it's not the worst one here. So it's at A tier for now. And then we have Modern Jam. Um, a lot of people didn't really like, I think, Tiso Touchdown's uh, feature on it, or like the second half of it, but I didn't really mind. I think it was different and I liked it as well. And yeah, it's not just, the reason it's not at S tier is because I don't really find myself bumping the song that often, just every once in a while compared to the other song. Next, we have God's Country. I really wish uh, he kept the tiny feature in this because that would have been just fire if it had been properly sampled and uh yeah i just really like the the beat as well it's very weird and yeah next we have the resto i don't know why but beyonce's part in this was just very good it was a nice touch to the album and to the song and that's about it that's all i can say i don't really remember travis scott's part but the part that i do remember from him was actually good as well so the whole song was just good next we have schizo i really like the beat changes first time i listened to the album i was kind of like yo what's going on why is he doing all these beats beat changes and stuff like that and i i was even like yo is he trying to catch with Lamar or something like that but now it's starting to grow on me and I actually enjoy the beat changes especially the last part at the outro as well and then next we have the closing track till further notice in a tier also a very weird beat it's unconventional i think and i just enjoyed it really i'm just ranking this off of enjoyment a little bit and uh yeah so moving on to b tier we have i know i felt it was kind of basic and there are other songs other songs on the album and from other artists that i could listen to than to listen to this and next we have meltdown i feel like this song is heavily overrated just because of drake and he has like some sort of pull everyone you know i know drake is sick and all but you know yeah i just think it's a very overrated song on the album and possibly because of drake feature on it um next we have surface maximus with the weekend um the first half is not really what like it's not really it doesn't stand out to me but the weekend's feature on it was also very nice and the outro as well next we have love um same thing i didn't really like it that much but it's definitely better than the other songs on the album and then finally we have telekinesis with scissor and feature good <laughs> All right, so moving on to C tier, we have Top Your Twins. Yeah, I, I don't know. This was just like hype music in my opinion. And I don't really, I mean, I do listen to hype music, but I don't really consider it like that good, especially when there are other songs on the album. So it's not that high on my list. Next, we have Fiend as well on the C tier, because again, half of the lyrics were just Fiend, 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 Fiend. And again, that Cardi effect, for whatever reason, people just like to listen to some guy say the same thing multiple times. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. All right, in D tier, I don't know if this might be controversial or whatever or unpopular opinion whatever you want to call it but parasail that song was garbage respectfully um i don't know if there's like some sort of concept or message behind it but uh yeah i didn't hit either but yeah it was just hit or miss for me uh i didn't like it i'm not trying to i, I don't know when you would be listening to that song ever not in a car ride not when you're working out but not when you're doing anything um so it's just a first time listening experience and i don't see when else you would be listening to that song especially when there are other songs from other artists and other songs on the album so yeah d tier of parasail i actually enjoyed enjoyed a version that this other youtuber did where it was just his voice so yeah there's that and then finally k-pop like i said uh i haven't found myself listening to this at all because i mean i, I breezed through it briefly the first time it came out but that was about it like i can't i don't find this listenable the song so yeah um, that's about it let me know in the comments what you thought and peace